we got a first question from Rachel, yeah, Kubi, Quebec. Um, I have lots of questions about the long-term effects of beta blockers. For example, is there any correlation between being on a beta blocker like Metaprolol for lifetime and getting dementia? Uh, my grandmother was on a beta blocker for decades and my mom is 100% convinced her eventual dementia, 50 years of hell, uh, was due to the drug. Uh, obviously, dementia is correlated with high blood pressure, which is why she was on a beta blocker to begin with. I guess I'm just wondering if there are any studies out there that definitely uh, solve this chicken egg conundrum. And I think middle... it's hard. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, I also generalized the question a little bit, so I added a little generalization to it what are the long-term effects of beta blockers knowing that most you know sudden cardiac arrest survivors have to be on them their whole life i think it's hard because i don't know if there's a lot of studies in regards to looking you know following patients from a very young age to a late age um yeah. the biggest kind of side effect of beta blockers though of course it decreases your heart rate and so anything that might um uh surround that so fatigue um some people can pass out if their heart rates get too low, feeling dizzy, things of that nature. I think it is hard because she hit the nail on the head. If you have high blood pressure, you're at a higher risk to have vascular dementia, which is the clogging of the arteries of the brain. And so I think there's going to be too many confounding factors for you to tease out whether the beta blocker causes a dementia, but I think it's less likely, most likely. And are there any long-term effects of beta blockers, you know, to take them your whole life, like negative effects, of course? that we know of? I mean, not really, but honestly, with any medication, there's always gonna be some type of risk. And for us as physicians, and especially when we're explaining it to patients, we always have to figure out what are the long-term effects and risk versus the benefit. Yeah. And specifically someone with sudden cardiac arrest, the benefits are always gonna outweigh the risk. And so even if we find something that might happen long, long down the road, the fact that we might be saving your life and decreasing your mentality is always going to outweigh any other risk. And so I think you really have to kind of keep that in mind, whether you're looking at medications, any type of treatment, any type of test, what is that risk to benefit ratio and let that kind of guide your decision. 